And now, now we go to Hackney. Diane Abbott. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The Minister is very insistent that the wildly disproportionate rates of infections and death amongst Black, Asian and minority ethnic communities has nothing to do with the fact that they are Black or Asian or from a minority ethnic group. Has it occurred to her that the reason they are more likely to be in overcrowded, poor housing conditions, um, in the types of jobs that leave them liable to infection, these things are not random, they are to do with race and ethnicity. And can I ask her to do more in the area of data? First of all, can she speak to colleagues about having ethnicity routinely put on death certificates? Can we have more information on the Haredi and the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community who we know in America have disproportionate levels of death from COVID? And can she speak to Public Health England to make sure that local directors of public health are making available constituency level data, particularly on ethnicity, to constituency stakeholders, including members of parliament. Um, I thank the Honourable Lady for her question. I do wish she had actually read my report because she would have seen that I have addressed that not just in the October report uh, but also in the one that came out last week. And what I would say on recording data or um, ethnicity data on death certificates, that was one of the recommendations which was in my previous report. It's not something that can be done overnight. It will probably require legislation, but we are on our way to getting that. So that's some good news that she can have. Um, she also mentioned the Orthodox Jewish community. I think it's um, finally uh, someone um, from the Labour benches has talked about this community. I'm very pleased that she has. Um, research from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine estimated that 64% of the Orthodox Jewish community Community may have had COVID-19 in 2020. The research has said the reasons behind this high rate of uh, infection are not yet known. Strictly Orthodox families have significantly larger households than the UK average. They also live in areas of increased population density and in pre-pandemic times have regular attendance at communal events and gatherings. And I, the reason why I use them as an example is that this is why it is wrong for us to, come, to mix together lots of different groups. The Orthodox Jewish community has actually had more, of, um, has been more impacted than many of the ethnic minority groups that get a lot of the attention in the press. But we don't say that this is due to structural anti-Semitism. We look at what's uh, causing the underlying, what's, what the underlying factors are. Multi-generational households, for instance, are not due to racism, but are often due to cultural factors. We're not going to be taking grandparents away from their families because of COVID. What we're going to be doing is providing them with guidance to ensure that they can look after themselves safely. And that's what this government's priority is.